From time to time, accountants and other business professionals need to add together data from multiple Excel worksheets and or Excel workbooks to create a consolidated report. Excel's Data Consolidate command provides an effective way of consolidating such information regardless of whether that information is imported or created in Excel. In short, Consolidate allows us to summarize our data quickly and accurately. Data can be consolidated from within the same worksheet, from other worksheets in the same workbook, or from other workbooks. Links can also be incorporated into consolidated totals such that as the source data changes, our consolidated totals automatically update. Once the consolidation has been completed, it can be edited and consolidation ranges even added or deleted. To begin the consolidation process, create a worksheet on which to place the consolidated data. If the worksheets containing the data have identical layouts, we will engage with a consolidate by position, which will be our first example. In this example, we will consolidate data from three separate divisions in order to create a consolidated income statement. We begin by positioning our cursor in the upper left hand corner of the consolidation range. In this case, that's cell B12. From the data tab on the ribbon, we choose the consolidate function. Because we want the consolidating data from the other sheets to be added together, we accept the default function of sum. Of course, notice that there are a total of 11 separate calculations that can be made, including average, minimum, maximum, and standard deviation. Next, we simply highlight each of the consolidating ranges that we want to add to our consolidated report. In this case, since our consolidating ranges are identical in nature, there is no need to check any of the Use Labels In boxes in the lower left-hand corner of the Consolidate dialog box. We will, however, click the checkbox entitled Create Links to Source Data so that any changes in the source data will flow through to the consolidated worksheet. Clicking OK completes the consolidation. In our consolidated report, notice that Excel's outlining function has been enabled so that we can click on the plus signs on the left hand side and see the details for each of the consolidated amounts. Let's quickly review the process of the consolidate by position example. We first created a worksheet on which to consolidate the results of the three separate divisions. With the cursor in the upper left hand corner of the consolidation range, we executed the consolidate command highlighted and added the three data ranges to the Consolidate dialog box and clicked OK. It's easy now to see why most users think that this is a far superior method when compared to building sum through formulas. The consolidation was performed without building or copying any formulas, the consolidations are computationally accurate, and users can drill down from the results to see the underlying data. In the previous example, the data ranges were identical so we could consolidate based solely on the relative position of the data elements within the data ranges. However, in those cases where the data ranges are not identical, which will likely be the case for most organizations, that does not preclude us from using the consolidate command. In those circumstances, we must consolidate by category, whereby Excel reads the row and or column labels to determine what data cells should be summed. For example, if we were combining expense budgets and one of the several departments had extra accounts, we would consolidate by category. Similarly, we could consolidate by category if the order in which the data columns were reported was different. In our next example, which is based on consolidate by category, notice that the retail division has an extra line of data, in this case depreciation, as compared to either the industrial division or the OEM division. Likewise, notice that the industrial division's data is sorted in a different order, that is, fourth quarter down to first quarter, as compared to the OEM division, which is first to fourth quarter, or the retail division, which is also first to fourth quarter. In other words, our three consolidating data ranges are no longer symmetrical in nature. 
To consolidate by category, it is not necessary to first build the outline of the financial report. Therefore, we simply click on Consolidate on the Data tab of the ribbon and choose the consolidating ranges. Notice that in this example, however, our consolidating ranges will include the column headers as well as the row labels, whereas when we consolidated by position previously, we only picked up the data in the consolidating ranges. Having specified the three consolidating ranges, we're almost ready to complete the consolidation. However, it, since this is a consolidate by category example, we need to check the boxes entitled Use Labels in the top row and the left column. We do want links to the source data, and clicking OK produces our consolidated financials. Notice that even though we consolidated by category, the fact that we check the box for links still provides us with drill down capability into the details. And of course, we can always go in and format this information any way we choose. Excel's Consolidate feature is not new to Excel 2007 or Excel 2010. In prior versions of Excel, you can find Consolidate under the Data menu. Now is a great time to put this feature to work to handle your needs to consolidate multiple data ranges. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.